Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus with the second update of the whole Green Knights um, army project from the Pile of Shame 2019 and um, I've called it endless because that's what it feels like at the moment. Um, so where we left off last time is we were um, going to highlight them silver because we'd already painted them bolt gun uh, metal um, and we did that with a spray can and this is me just basically doing the highlighting of the silver with Vallejo silver and uh, trying to do it in a sort of zenithal kind of way so that's shooting down from the top so that you still leave the sort of darker areas on the underside. Um, I think you get better at it as you go on and we had like 80 to do so by the end of them uh, I was pretty confident what I was doing. Um, but the first couple were, oh is that enough or is that too much? Um, so just keep going, you'll get it. And then the tricky part is with the weapon arms you have to kind of think which, you know, when you glue this on, which part of that weapon arm is going to be upwards and that's obviously going to have the brightest part. So there's a bit of mental gymnastics you have to work out to, to get that right. And as you can see there, my pot of never-ending uh, backpacks for Marines. Uh, that was a bit of a slog, I'm not going to lie, that, that took a while. And uh, the force weapons or the um, power weapons uh, for uh, Grey Knights. Um, this is the this sort of method that I think everybody uses these days. It's the, the one that I first saw and Roddy first saw on by Painted. And um, it's just a white base uh, with a two-tone blue on it. We'll come back to that in just a second, actually. I'm highlighting the red sort of heraldry panels. And on the pauldrons, I'm trying to use masking tape creatively to try and make it look as though they've all got different heraldry. Kind of looks a bit orky if I'm honest, um, but hopefully uh, you get you get nice ones like this. You think you know, wow, that's that's going to be cracking. If they could all look like that, it'd be fantastic. Oops, yeah, sorry, dropped it. But the rest of them, yeah, they're okay. Um, when you see them on the rest of the the armor, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So going back to the uh, the power weapons. In this case, Roddy had used. Um, liquid mask and that's him taking it off with a pencil eraser because uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't leave any marks which is uh, what you want but in the end we decided to go back to masking tape because it, this still left a sort of sticky residue and it didn't come off as cleanly as we wanted it to no matter how we sort of scrubbed it with a nylon brush and everything so you'll see we go back to painting it with uh, masking tape um, that's just all the pauldrons um, for the left arms uh, for all the normal marines not, or sorry the normal grey knights uh, and this is us putting the second colour of um, blue on so there's a sort of turquoise colour and a sort of regal blue um, you know the, the whatever colours you really want to um, use would be absolutely fine here there's just the two colours that we had and that's the kind of pile of the armoury that I was using and I did find that if I used one slice of tape and used the the edges that um, were machine cut, I got a perfect edge every time rather than the edge that, that I cut with the scissors. So what we decided to do was mask off one side, which was had been done perfectly, and then we're going to spray them white, and then we're going to spray, spray them the alternative pattern, which will be in the middle rather than the edge in the beginning, and um, we'll, we'll get that right. The halberds, the, the curve on the halberds is, and the falchions is absolutely nails to try and get right, but once you get it, it's it's pretty straightforward. So all we're doing now is covering up the um, blue on one side and blue on the other, and then we're going to come back now and we're going to paint it with the lighter blue in the middle in a wide stripe, and then the darker blue in an arrow stripe, and that'll give you the contrast, and you'll see in a, a little minute. So that's just the painting the halberd in the same way got to cover up the originals bear in mind that the um, one side of it is completely covered by the masking tape so you, you know we're not doing uh, we're not wasting our time with that or at least we shouldn't be so what happens now is um, we've painted the, the sort of turquoisey line and they were, that's just painting the darker blue line you have to make sure that they line up otherwise it looks really odd and that's uh, the big reveal if I can get the tape to come off as I say you know that, that's I think that's how everybody does it there's no big mystery there but uh, well a whole army of them is going to look pretty special and now the fun part you've got to spend night after night painting all the gold uh, into all the the letters and wording 
and all the details on the marine armour and the um, Terminator armour. Uh, slow and steady wins the race here um, because if you if you go outside the lines you're going to have to go back with the silver and you, because you've done it as, with an airbrush to get the gradient right is really really difficult so take your time here um, and just stay within the lines like you're colouring in and you'll be fine um, what's happening here oh yeah so I'm going to paint the um, purity seals I did it with scab red first and then highlighted with uh, blood red and also on the terminators there's usually some chest details uh, and I also paint that scab red and highlight them with uh, blood red and it makes a, a big big difference this is uh, this is it going in here I, I use quite a cheap brush it was actually the brush that came with issue one of conquest it's a plastic starter brush um, at this stage because I was doing a lot of that gold as you can see uh, and using alcohol to clean that brush would wreck uh, an expensive one so just use a cheap one Roddy came up with an amazing idea to make the uh, staffs of the weapons like granite or some kind of polished stone. So he devised his own method um, of, of making it look like marble and you know when you see them finished you'll be blown away. Uh, he's much better at coming up with uh, ideas and new techniques than I am so um, maybe he'll do a special video just on this but it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and that's what the, the weapons are going to look like when they're finished. I think they look really strong. Um, this is um, shading of all the parchment and all the books because every single one of them has a book and loads of purity seals. Um, and again, just get some uh, dark tone or some Agrax earth shade and uh, go over them. Uh, this one I think is dark tone I'm using from uh, Army Painter, but you know whatever one you think looks best. And when you're finished doing this, um, I'm using uh, that is Agrax, and I'm using that on all the gold work that we've done before, and it's just to make the um, the recesses dark so the gold letters stand out and when this dries this looks amazing so totally worth doing it and that's pretty much how where we're leaving things at the moment um you're know, picking out the gold details especially around that red looks really really strong so stay tuned for part three and when we'll be doing it putting them all together and probably revealing the final results thanks guys cheers bye bye